pregnancy. I'm just thinking ways, but there are other ways. What is up, you guys? It's boy Casey Gardner coming at you with another vlog. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, should I wear this face shield? Because you know, it's the new normal. No, I mean, just kidding. Yeah. So, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If, if you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Casey Gardner. I'm a 20 year old, used to be travel vlogger, but now since due to the pandemic, I am stuck at home. So what I'll be doing now is my life as a college student. Yeah, so that would be my content for the coming days or months. Let's see, I don't know what will happen with the uncertainty of this pandemic. Disclaimer, this is going to be a very raw vlog. This will be a sit down vlog wherein I don't really have much of an outline or a script. Kubaga, this will just be you, you guys and I catching up. Kasi, <laughs> again, I want to say sorry to some of my subscribers and my friends who have been asking me about my vlog because I apparently haven't uploaded for almost two weeks now. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> but you know, it's just, it's the first week of school. I know it's not really that busy just yet, but you know, I'm just trying to get the groove of online classes. Chika lang tayo guys. For sure may hirap ako mag-edit ng vlog na to. Kasi as I said, wala ako masyadong script and I will just be bubbling out. I have really no idea about the things that I am going to say. Pero I also am going to show you some of the background. I mean, some reality <laughs> sa online classes. So also guys, if you haven't watched my tips for online learning, I will be putting it here, here, somewhere here, and also I'll be putting it down below in the description box. Okay, wait. So before we go Chica, or we make Chica guys, I will be giving you another updated or some of the tricks I've learned during the third semi I mean third 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 trimester of online classes in DLSU. So before we go to some of my tips and tricks, I'm going to show you guys nga pala a very quick haul. Basta ito sobrang ano to, sobrang cram nung pagbili ko ng mga stuff that I need for online school. But nevertheless, yeah. This will just be quick. Okay, let's do a very quick haul. So I went to McKinley Hills today and I went to Miniso and Office Warehouse to buy a few stuff. So I got earphones. So just a cheap earphones with the hanging thing. Basta yun, kailangan ko kasi ng ganun para pag nag-workout din ako. Oh my god, paano to? Ah, okay, ganyan. Okay, ang weird niya. Okay, ang weird. Pero cheap lang naman siya, so... Ano lang, for extra lang naman kasi. And I also bought this coloring stand. And also some batteries. Wala naman kaya pa sa batteries. And then, ito yung exciting part. I went to office warehouse. Okay, so first here is... What do you call this? Masa para siyang pendal pen. I really don't know. Isang 0.05 and, and isang 0.7. Also a red na 0.03. Favorite color ko na, ano, na highlighter. And also, I bought a purple one. Actually, sobrang dami kong highlighters. Ganda ako dito. Ayan, dami kong highlighters. Also, a magic tape. I saw this in Isa's vlog. So, hi, shout out to you, Isa. Let's try it. And also, this banderitas. Ano to? Flags? Kalagay siya flags. Hindi ko alam kung paano siya gamitin. Nakita lang ako, so binili ko. Also, post-it. Kasi I always use sticky notes. A lot of gel pens na iba-ibang kulay. If you think, ito lang mga ball pen ko na iba-ibang kulay. You're wrong guys. Kasi sobrang dami ko talagang pens na iba-ibang kulay. Kasi I really love pens. <sighs> Aanihin ko to. Pero ito pa pala. Meron akong biniling ganito. And last but not the least, and also not the smallest, definitely, is... Hindi <sighs> ko mamuhat. A printer. It's the T710. It's one of the latest of Brother. Because I really need a uh, printer here in my room and finally I got one. This is the one with the Wi-Fi. You could print through your mobile and meron siyang scanner hanggang long. Basta any ano, may feeder din kasi siya so. That concludes my very short haul. I, go, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to ask me any questions, feel free to comment it down below. Ah, sobrang excited ako dito. Bye!
Number one tip is to write all your assignments, all your deadlines, all your, all your to-do lists on a sticky note. Yes, I know I have mentioned this on my video before, but this is really some of the things that I find really useful. I'll show you mine. So these are my new classes for this term. So as you can see, I have four, I mean, I have seven classes. So yeah, I have a sticky note for each of the classes and nandiyan yung mga deadlines and all the stuff that I need to do. And also, a very useful thing to do is write a calendar. So, lahat ng mga deadlines nandiyan. So, meron na dito. So, per subject siya naka-arrange dito and also dito per date naman. So, you know, I won't really get confused. But at least, diba? It's really hard to juggle everything, especially now na and dami pinagpagawa ng mga profs. I don't know why, kung bakit, pero sa amin, yun, kung sino pa yung mga minor, sino pa yung mga dami pinagpagawa, pero sana naman, gets yun na yun. <laughs> mga prof dyan, baka naman, baka naman, pwede yung bawasan ng kaunti dyan. Baka lang naman. So, another thing that I find very useful, I mean, well, this time, not very useful, is to study in bed. I have this bed table. But guys, I really uh, don't recommend studying in bed because it just really makes you feel very lazy. Your body feels like you're actually going to sleep. I don't know if that makes sense, guys. What kind of bed mag Article 1871 Between persons who are present, the acceptance of the agency and unrestrained. While it contains many of the elements of face-to-face -face conversation, uh, find a dedicated space or spot in your house. Uh, if you have a table, then that's great. But if you don't, maybe something that is not your bed. Uh, moving on, my third tip would be keeping your area clean. As I said, whatever that place would be, if you have a desk, try your best to keep it as neat as possible. Right now, <laughs> as you can see, it's very messy but usually kasi when I wake up that's the time that I really declutter everything I remove all the stuff here and also I have water by my table so guys stay hydrated importante talaga na may water kayo while studying and also I don't know <laughs> a lot of people have been really getting into plants these days. Well, good for you guys because I have really be, I have actually been a plant parent for a long time already, I think. And I'm going to plants dito sa room na to and some of my friends really know me as a very plant loving guy. Next time I'll be giving you a tour of my plants and also meron pa kasi akong hindi tapos sa project dito. But yeah, that will be for another vlog. I want to emphasize this more. Uh, you need to do something else. Wag kayo masyadong magpaka-focus sa ads kasi iba na kasi yung sitwasyon ngayon. It's really the new normal. So, you know, we are really used to going out, traveling to school. Basta you know, lagi pag sinabi kasi ng school, 'di ba? Lagi tayong wala sa bahay. Pero ngayon, parang na stuck na tayo sa bahay. So, as much as possible, even if you are having your online classes, try to go out once in a while. So, ako, personally, I work out. <laughs> I work out, yes. I try to work out at least every day. If not every day, at least once every two days. So, hindi talaga pa pwede sa akin na wala akong ginagawa or hindi ako nag-exercise. Kasi, you know, yun na lang kasi yung some of the activities that I get to go out, sweat, you know, do something that is not the usual thing for quarantine, if that makes sense. Also, another thing that is very essential for me, at least for me, to have a mental break. Kumbaga, if you usually go out with friends, kumbaga ngayon ang ginagawa na lang namin is to... I have this, ano kasi, I have this group of friends, uh, my junior high school friends na... Actually, everyday kami nag-uusap, like, about random stuff. You know, para lang hindi masyadong nakaka-stress. Pero at least once a week... Okay, okay lang. It's okay. Good, so far. Ako... Hindi ka ba nagpaalam? We try to catch up. Nagu video call kami actually once, at least once a week. Yeah, talk to your friends, reach out to them. Importante guys, na mag reach out kay sa friends niyo kasi syempre, uh, This is a very trying time for everyone. It's best if you check in on them once in a while. Like just do the simplest things, like uh, chat them. 
Hey, are you okay? Kamusta ka? How have you been doing? How's your online class? What's, what have you been up to these days? Basta yung mga ganun, para lang, at least for me ha, kasi it really makes me feel good if somebody reaches out to me. I want to, ano, I want to mention a specific person, eh, Ate Ems. <laughs> Ate Ems, hello if you are watching this. Siya yung ate ko na talaga mapagsasabihan ko ng lahat. Even if hindi talaga kami sobrang close dati. She really checks out kung how I am doing, kung kamusta ako, ganun. And I really appreciate that. So, kung gan may ganun kayong mga friends, uh, please try to do that as well to some of your friends. So, another thing is try to talk to people that you know is in some sense better than you. I mean, there's no universal line about being better than you. Kung baga, ik 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 ikaw na bahala dun kung who do you think are better than you. Pero ako kasi, I really like to talk to people na like professors. Some of my professors I reach out to Kasi, yeah, meron akong plan after college. Pero, I won't be talking about that yet in this vlog. Siya yung kinakausap ko about that stuff, my dreams, my goals. Paano ba yung ganito? Paano ba yung ganyan? What are the things that I should do? Pero, yeah. I hope you guys are still with me. Also, I want to give an appreciation to some of my friends, my high school friends. What I like about this group of friends is sobrang sabog, sobrang kalat talaga at sometimes as in sobrang kalat. Tinatawag ko, ang tawag ko nga sa kanila, tayo yung makalat pero may pangarap. Sometimes, bibla nila kami nagkakaroon ng mga time na nagde-debate kami in a good way ha, na parang pinag-uusapan lang namin yung mga social issues kasi syempre it's really important these days to be, you know, aware of everything that is happening around us in the Philippines about the pandemic. Yeah, nagkakaroon kami ng healthy discussions even if we don't always agree with each other, we try to educate one another. And with the last thing with doing something else is you know, find your purpose at this time. Like, set your goal. Uh, this time I want to mention Isabel Candava. You know, find yourself a friend like her. <laughs> Kasi yung relationship namin sa isa't isa, although magkaiba na kami ng school, nasa Enderan siya, ako nasa Lasal, we talk about our dreams. Kaibigan mo na kapag kinausap mo, feeling mo lagi kang ina-uplift. Find yourself a friend na talagang mag uplift sa'yo and your dreams and your goals. And maybe makasama mo din sa mga goals mo sa life. <laughs> Kala mo ako yung jowa ni Isa. <laughs> So, Jawa ni Isa dyan, hello. Ikaw pa rin yung Jawa, wag ka mag-alala, hindi ako. So, the next thing is, try to educate yourself more with what's really happening around us. Watch some YouTube documentaries, read the news, read a book. Uh, actually, guys, I'm going to uh, suggest one video that I think you guys should watch. And that is the How the Pandemic Could Transform the Higher Ed. So, actually, this video is based on the US, but I think... It is very useful for us, it is very useful for everyone, especially those studying right now, not to understand the future of the higher education. And yeah, maganda kasi this video na to, this was actually written 2018-2019 pa lang. Pre-pandemic, he talked about how a possible pandemic could change the education system. But yeah, if you want to watch that, I will be putting it in the description box down below. And also, meron akong isasuggest sa inyong book. This book was actually recommended by Ate Ems. Hello, Ate Ems again. So, this is called The Book of Affirmation. I don't know if I should be showing this kasi pinprint ko lang siya. Kapag maganda siya for those na nangangarap, yung naniniwala sa Law of Attraction. If you want to read this book, send me a PM. <laughs> I don't want to put it in the description box. PM niyo na lang ako and then I will give you the link to this book. It's really just a short book. Para siyang 50 pages lang. I mean 60 pala. Hi guys, so I don't know why I forgot to film an outro for this video. But before I do the usual outro, I'm going to share it to you guys a quick behind the scenes of what it's really like to be doing the online classes. So... Uh, you're just selling now debt. You're issuing debt. No mutang ka. You know what I mean? You're asking money from people. For their whole life, at least they're still giving them a second chance. And yes, it nakukulong is to penalize you or parang pahirapan ka eh. 
Ramona. <laughs> loading, loading. Pina, ay pinatay niya yung relative ko. Then therefore, I shall kill you. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and as always if you like this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up share this video to your friends put your thoughts in the comment section down below and don't forget to subscribe and remember guys this is Casey Gardner where your world meets mine coming up bye